Welcome back to the Frostbite Channel. I'm Joe Cooper, and it's been a while since you guys have seen me. Last time we were on the Rainy River, we fried up some fish at the end of the day after catching some nice walleyes, and with a full belly, I packed up the shack on the Titan, and we went to a new location looking for sturgeon. And uh, we, we fished hard through the like entire night. 127 hours. I mean, if, if the moon literally like makes the lot, the sea level change, you gotta think that it affects fish, right? Like if it actually changes the level of the oceans on the earth, like the moon is pulling water around the planet. I'm just gonna stare it down. He's probably using his whiskers to kind of I'm giving up. The dinosaurs win again. I, I don't know what happened. I just couldn't get hooked up. It was weird. And I've been looking for a chance at redemption this whole time. And I'm going to make it happen. I'm determined. I'm really excited about this new frostbite rod. I'm going to put this thing to the test on some Rainy River sturgeon. Look at this thing. It is giant. 46 inch extra heavy. What? Oh my gosh. This one. I'm just going to rig this. Uh, this jig up with some bait for sturgeon. Man, I, I hope I get the chance to just bend this thing over. It's gonna be sweet. I'm gonna be able to whore some. I got out the other heavy sticks, the Mr. Bigs, and I've rigged them up with some pike gear. We're gonna go out and just maybe play with some pike until we uh, get near our prime time sturgeon bite, which is end of the day into the night. Anyways, here we are on the Rainy River, and it, we're gonna get out there and get after it, so. Hopefully I can make it happen for you guys this time and no teasers, no sturgeon tease this time. The sturgeon are teasing me, I'm teasing you. It's not gonna happen, it's gonna be real deal. So let's see what, let's see if I can do it. I haven't been down to the south shore here for a little while and the, t the conditions are deteriorating much faster. I mean, the snow pack conditions. We still got, I mean, there's, there's close to 30 inches of ice here and we're in uh, an area where there's usually quite a bit of current, but um, there's like no snow left. It's just water on the ice out here. It's, it's something else. So we got a nice uh, le sand ledge coming up here shallow on this side and I'm gonna probably put a tight uh, pike uh, set up on this side of us so just gonna kind of uh, set up and see what we can make happen here um, until we want to move in towards the river for our sturgeon bite oh look at this a sign X marks the spot right here see it yeah, we'll do that. Oh god. Nice. I'm just setting up a pike rig here, and uh, I'm using these. What is it called? An alewife or alewife for for bait? I don't even know how to say it. I just buy them. The pike is gonna eat this thing head first. So what you wanna do is you wanna position your hooks facing back so that this it's going into its mouth this way, the hooks are coming out this way and hooking into the fish's mouth. And you just wanna put one hook in like that because you actually want it to rip out of the bait when you set the hook. So I, I like to put one on each side kind of facing back. I know we're in about eight feet of water here. I'm gonna try and set the bobber stop for maybe about five foot, 5'11". I know we got about two and a half feet of ice here. It's about 30 inches of ice. And I want it hanging maybe two or th maybe about three, 
three to five feet below the ice. Send her down. Good luck, little little buddy. Not very often I'll just take my bare hands and push them into the snow like that. That's crazy. It's warm out. Quite warm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. My nice little repair to my trigger mechanism. The flag actuating, I don't know, so you just, there you go, perfect. All right, gotta tighten up some of this slack. Here's something I always forget to do when I'm setting the iFish Pros. Open the bail, very important. Do not forget to do that. It uh, isn't gonna work if you don't open the bail. So there we go, all right. Let's get back into that hole and rip the tantrum. I'm gonna rip that tantrum and call him in. Let's go. I'm, I got some, uh, some dead baits set up around us and here in, the, in this hole I'm fishing a, uh, the big tantrum. So, uh, Hopefully I can get one to eat that thing. I haven't seen anything come through yet. We're only in about 10 feet of water here and the, we got some dead baits set up in like six to eight feet of water right around us. So, flags flying, here we go, like this, like this. Any minute. like a real big one. Oh, oh, maybe. <sighs> yeah, nice fish. Come on. Oh, my hand is not working. Oh, there he is. It's not a bad one. Come on. Come here. Oh, almost had him. There we go. There we go. Come on. Got him. Nice. On the iFish Pro, kind of messy there. Just came out and set up for some pike before we go in and, and get some sturgeon. And that big, that's bro. a good sign. It's not quite a 40 inch or anything, but he wolfed that uh, whole alewife I had on there. Oh, he's crapped all over me. Good thing I'm wearing my rain suit up. Come here. Come on. There you go. Sweet. That's a good start. Goodbye. Right on, sweet. There's one. It was awesome, caught that nice pike to start the night. Now I got a little bit of confidence boost after uh, this long winter grinding away out here. It's good to, good to have something go the way you want. We're gonna go in and get a surge now and what else was it? That's it. I don't know. Here we go. Let's go get a sturge in the river. Dino hunters on the loose. We've just moved in to the rainy river here for sturgeon. I'm trying to see. I 
you just don't fish out of the same hole that your live scope is in. I mean, you just don't. It's rookie maneuver, hold on. We're gonna go downstream of this hole. Everybody's like, oh, there's so much water on the ice. Is that safe? Look at him, look at him swimming around down there. There's another one. What's going on? Oh my gosh. If we don't catch one, I'm complete garbage. What? What is going on? Suspendo, Sturge, Dino Hunt. Looks like I got one just sneaking in on me maybe. Right here. A little sneaker. Is that a little sneak? Here comes one. This is insane. We're at Sturgeonville. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Eat it. I just felt him hit my line. He just, he's hit. Definitely a little sneaker over here. He's sneaking up. And there's dinos all around us. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. Look at this, I can see three sturgeon on the screen right now. Look at that one. He's gonna come up and check us out. And there's one on bottom at the same time. And there's one on bottom at the same time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need to take a video of this and send it to Aaron so he can make fun of me. Oh, I know I should be setting up the shack right now, but it's just gorgeous. I've spent the last, I don't know, since December in the shack and I'm just happy to be out of it. This is beautiful. Here's my friend Lisa, she's a fish crusher. She have, she's a hell of a good stick. Yeah. She always seems to show up right when we need her. Like in the middle of setting up the shack or drilling holes or dipping holes or usually just the work that I'm doing. What are you doing out here? Are we gonna catch sturgeon or? Yeah, all right. I gotta get some triple holes going. It's on the light little rod. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, this is awkward now. This is, this is awkward now. Super awkward. Of course, I have all these big heavy rods and she grabs a walleye rod for some reason. trying to catch a dink or something. Oh man. <laughs> Not a dink. Wow. They like the dinner bell. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. You brought a knife <laughs> to a gunfight. Yeah, this is not good. No. After so many hours spent last trip trying to catch a sturgeon, we're here and in minutes, one's hooked up. You're caught, yep, gotta catch the, the, the bottom of the ice there. No! Yeah, no, it got off though. Yeah, it was caught on my, I literally saw my lure pop out of his mouth like right here. We don't need any lines in the water. Like, this is the issue. That's why I put that one down. I just pulled up, came in. We got uh, one line down. Well, we were, we were seeing a bunch of sturgeon. And then I saw a smaller fish along the bottom. So I just dropped the small dinner bell down because it was the easiest. I just grabbed it. It was ready to go fast. So I just dropped it down there, see if we could get, get anything on it. And I hooked up with a big sturgeon. And so now I have the same dinner bell on the bigger rod. Let's take a look at the differences in our setups. Can you just hold yours up to mine for a second and just... Okay, so mine is white glow. I wasn't gonna show you how I hooked my minnow though. Right through the eyeballs, you told me that earlier. I was listening, I do listen sometimes. So she goes right through the eyeball. And I like big heavy, she's, hers is flush. Oh, oh, gotta go. Should I just lay it into him right away? Yeah. Oh, no, Joe. <laughs> there goes my sturgeon swimming away. He's going to Lisa's now. I'm going to eat hers. Great. I'm super happy for you. Thanks, Joe. Hooked up. Oh, oh walleye. Hi. <laughs> nice one. That's a good eater. Dinner bell. Look at that. Everybody's like, see, they do bite at night. It's one fish. That was my original plan, was 
Pepsi kids of walleye on the dinner bill. Not a huge sturgeon. Oh my gosh, Lisa is hooked up. It is. There it is, Joe. What? It's right there. It's right there. It just turned. Oh. Yeah, because the fish was hitting the uh, live scope there. So I just pulled the live scope transducer out of the water. It's hard to tell how You got to do remember the pull and then reel down? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Lift it up and then reel down. Yep. And then reel down. And okay. He's getting close. He's circling around. That's that line popping off the bottom of the ice still. Power Pro. That's the juice. There he is. Okay. Wait, wait. I'm just going to bring him back this way a little bit. See, it'd be really nice if we had triple holes drilled. <laughs> like we do right over there. There we go. Yeah. Check this out. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Look at what's in its mouth there. I'm trying to grab it, but I'm carpal tunnel crazy. Oh my God. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Lisa, come over here. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this rod. This sturgeon she just caught on the slugger. Just brought them right in. Look at Look what's at in its mouth. A little dinner bell. Sturgeon actually have no cartilage in or no bones in them. They're all cartilage. So it's kind of tough to get a good... Oh, there it came. Look at that. This is the same lure Dave Winters caught that big walleye on last video. Lisa's caught much larger dinos than this. Yeah, but my first sturgeon through the ice. First sturge through the ice right there. Didn't take her any time at all. I literally lost my mind last time we were out here trying to do this. <laughs> oh, look at that. 49 incher to start out the night. Nice. Now we're just gonna slide him back in. He's gonna take right off. We have just an absolute mess going on here. Yeah, let him go, there he goes. Let him go. Yep. Sweet. Woo! Got it yeah. done. Lisa, well, we're still setting up the shack. Mm. Trail mix. Getting a nibble. Wow, this action is intense. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, that's a sturge. That's a sturge. Nice job. Oh, oh there it is. Got it. Hey, got one. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Wow. Look at that. Joseph with the sturgeon. Gosh, I can't believe I lost my mind for three three days in a row out here trying to hook one of these. There we go. That was uh, just an orange jig sitting on bottom. Lisa was just giving me crap for letting it just sit on bottom. She likes, oh, got him, got him. Oh, oh he's fighting me. Look at his little spikers. The spikes are a lot sharper when they're little. All right, number two for the night. Number three hooked up. We're doing stuff. We're doing cool stuff. Sick. Nice. Good release. All right, sweet. That's the secret right there. One up, one down. Wow, the slugger absolutely manhandles these fish. Like, no problem. I got a fish on. What? Is that the trick? Is me to just go outside the house? I think I have this on my own, I guess. Do you actually have one? Yeah, the sturgeon is a little guy. I snagged it. Oh, well, it's kind of caught in the middle. That's why. Look at this little guy. Look at the spikers on him. Wow. <laughs> cool. Oh, other way. Nice. Everybody wants to know what's with Joe's <laughs> hand. What did Joe do to his hand? Well, my absolute addiction to fishing has given me carpal tunnel, severe carpal tunnel. I'm getting it fixed ASAP, uh, I know, right away. Dad, I'm making an appointment, Dad, I promise, okay? I swear, I have it in my reminders. Look like a, is that like a circus act? Look at this one, look at this one. Ow, oh my gosh, it's right to the bone. Knuckle? Look that. It's a sturge. It's not bad. Joe, come reel your lineup. It's the Wait, are you actually hooked up? Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm not kidding. Oh my god. Get in here and reel your lineup. I was just joking. Look at on the live scope twirling. Got him torqued. Look at that slugger just giving her. Nice, Lisa. That's torqued up. Look at that rod. 
Oh, wow. I can't even reel. Oh. Nope, still can't. This is a good one here. Lift like up, that. reel down. Nice, we're gaining horsome. Where are we at? <sighs> we are on the Rainy River. <laughs> on the Minnesota Ontario border, the international border here on the Rainy River. We're literally just feet from the border. Okay. I noticed there are some comments in the last river video saying we were in Canada. Wrong. I'm sorry you were wrong. I don't know who it was. We were on the border. Couldn't have been more on it. Okay. This is a sturgeon fight we got going on here. We're dino hunters. Usually when you're catching a sturgeon through the ice, the battle is that your rod just isn't strong enough even just for the, the weight of the fish. So you think, you're, you think you're fighting the fish, but you're not. The fish is just floating there in the water and uh, you're just lifting dead weight. And, oh wow, that line is tight. You gotta take control of that fish. I'm pretty sure it has control of me right now. You got to take control of that fish. I'd say I'm hooked up. Hooked up. <laughs> this is our number four hookup tonight. Number five. What is it? Six? And we've caught a couple little guys, but you got to have those stat patterns, you know. Here you go. Take control of that fish. Wow. That slugger is getting torqued. I like it. Yeah, Lisa, gaining on him. Gaining on him. He's getting closer. Oh, there he is. Oh, I oh. He's backwards. He's backwards. What's going on? Did I snag him? Oh! Got him. Oh, he's rolled up. This one's a little bit bigger, Lisa. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah! Wow. Oh, nice. yeah! Okay, well, this isn't ideal because there's the hook. He's wrapped up. Oh, wow. Okay. Not the Cooper scooper. You want to grab that end, Lisa? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, he's quite large. Oh, oh wow. and in charge. Oh, wow. Wow. He's oh, twi he's twi that is a head. dino. That, oh, dino. Wow, that's a giant fish. Get a quick measurement on him. Here we go. You take the smart end. Here, let's go along the side of him here. You got him tight? Yep. 59 and a quarter. Nice. Job. 59 to five. Let's get her back. What a giant. Okay. Nice work, Lisa. Just, just putting on an absolute clinic. Good. Wow. Good thing we drilled three holes. <laughs> wow. Woo. God, they're so strong. Sick. 59. And a quarter. Sick. Sick, Joe. Wow. That Here fight was sorry. unreal. That was mm. awesome. I'm sturgeon slimed to the max. Is the... Uh, uh, this is what's catching them all. This thing is putting on a clinic. An all gold dinner bell with an upgrade hook just for the sturgeon strength. What do we got here? I'm sweating. I'm sweating. We're ice fishing. It's way too hot in here. Way too hot. We could turn the heater down. Oh, wow. What do we got? There it is. Look at this thing. Is a sturgeon slayer. Are you kidding me? Some people think that this clasp may not be strong enough. The clasp that comes on the frostbite may not be strong enough. I've, I've had some people ask me that question. Is it, can it handle a big fish? You tell me now, Lisa. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're all loaded up, getting ready to head back in. It was tough to call her quits tonight, gosh. I mean, they just wouldn't quit coming through. It was all night long on the live scope, just the steady sturgeon train running down the river. I what just happened? It. We were catching sturgeon like they were walleye. Normally you, you wait for them. We didn't have to wait for them tonight. No. That was wild. That was awesome, yeah. That's wild. not the sturgeon fishing I've ever done. <laughs> I was trying to make ramen noodles. Oh my gosh. I couldn't eat dinner. Anyways, tomorrow is International Women's Day, and I think it would just be right if you joined me again on the river, and we gotta get one of those giants uh, that we saw on the live scope. We saw bigger fish for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like we and, saw it as we were catching them. There was bigger fish swimming by. Yes. It was just unbelievable yeah. how many there That's could be, wild. how many multiple sturgeon are on the screen at one time. Like you say, you're fighting them. There's other ones swimming around the ones you're fighting. It was crazy. We're going to go make any size pizza a personal pizza right now because I could eat about three frozen ones and then the toppings off of like two more frozen ones. Jack's probably. Jack's pizzas. We're gonna get back out tomorrow and uh, we're gonna leave you with another frostbite to be continued on the rainy river. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how it could be better than tonight, but we're gonna do it. Let's get out of here.